Hello good people, thank you very much for tuning in once again today. I'm so happy guys and I welcome you back to our channel today. Today we're looking at uh, Jordan Peterson. He says, be dangerous but, but disciplined. That is a very good talk guys and I hope you will enjoy it. Today is your first time to press that subscription button so the next time you will get this great content let's just dive straight away and see what this great man has got for us thank you if you gaze into the abyss long enough you see the light not the darkness I'm betting my life on it. Bring it on the adventure along the route, man. And I would say, where's that adventure to be found? You don't want someone else's fate. Man, your fate's enough. And your adventure's enough. It's plenty. It's more than you can ever fully realize. And so that's also part of the reason that we all believe that the individual has some intrinsic dignity. It's don't be so sure that your position and your room is so damn trivial might be your attitude towards it that's trivial. And if you're in dire straits and dire circumstances, just look at how much opportunity you have to make things better. Well, maybe the same thing's true of life, right? You bind yourself to it. And the tighter you bind yourself to it, the more you find out what it is. And that's like a radical embrace. We're built to walk uphill. And when you reach the pinnacle of the hill, you want to stop and appreciate the vision, but the next thing you want is a higher hill in the distance because it's from the uphill climb that we derive our value. Almost all the positive emotion we feel, especially the emotion that fills us with enthusiasm, that's experienced in relationship to a goal. And so in some sense, you want a goal that you can never attain. There's nothing that makes you more formidable than verbal competence than being able to articulate, be able to think, to marshal your arguments, right? aim yourself in one direction and you might say well i've gone halfway down this path and i found out it's wrong well how do you distinguish that from just giving up well that's a really hard question right it's it's a moral hazard but then the absolute is yeah but you have to play one of them you have to learn to play one of them you have to become an expert at at least one of them and then that's not a relative proposition and i i believe that's true so you want to commit to something and then when you commit to something you require yourself to bring all of your disparate components moving in a single direction united in a single direction so it's a unifying it's a unifying act you said that a harmless man is not a good man a good man is a very dangerous man who has that under voluntary control how should people become more dangerous oh becoming more articulate is definitely i would say that's the primary array of weapons. I mean, physical prowess is something, and, and it's not nothing, that physical confidence that comes along with that as well. But the same thing replicated at the level of the ability to communicate and to think, that's a way broader field of, of battle and opportunity. In a world with seemingly infinite options, it can be challenging to decide on the best course of action for one's life. Peterson suggests that a useful approach is to focus on what bothers you or what you find most challenging. These discomforts or challenges can be an indication of where one should focus their time and energy. By leaning into what is difficult or uncomfortable, individuals can discover their strengths and find direction in their lives. Be honest with yourself about your interests, abilities, and limitations, and pursue the path that aligns most closely with your values and passions. There's a lot of things you could be bothered by. Like a million things, man. But some things grip you. They bug you. And they might make you resentful and bitter. Because they bug you so much. Like, they're your things, man. They've got you. So then, I look for a question that I would like the answer to. I would really like the answer to it. So I don't assume I already have the answer. Because I would actually really like to have the answer. So if I could get a better answer, great and so that's the first thing and that's like a prayer it's like okay here's a mystery i would like to delve into it further 
Well, so that's humility. It's like, here's a mystery, which means I don't know. I would like to delve into it further, which means I don't know enough already. And then, then comes the revelation. It's like, well, what's a revelation? Well, if you ask yourself a question, it's a real question. Do you get an answer or not? An answer is, well, yeah, thoughts start to appear in your head. So from somewhere, that's way. right. From where, somewhere, where, where do they come from? Do you have a sense? Depends on what you're aiming at. It depends. It depends on your intent. So imagine that your intent is to make things better. Then maybe they come from the place that's designed to make things better. Maybe your intent is to make things worse. Then they come from hell. Jordan Peterson is adamant about the importance of setting goals in life and the need to embrace the difficulty that comes with pursuing them. Peterson emphasizes that while it's acceptable to change your direction in life, it's essential not to make it easier for yourself. Instead, he suggests that it's crucial to challenge yourself continually and strive for greater accomplishments. He highlights the importance of goal setting as a powerful tool for personal growth and development and encourages people to embrace the challenges that come with pursuing their dreams. Because it's inappropriate to continue in a direction you now realize to be wrong, but it's also inappropriate to give up and use that rationalization as an excuse and how do you distinguish especially seeing as we're not transparent to ourselves well right exactly so that is genuinely a moral hazard so one of the principles that i tried to abide by in my therapeutic discussions was you can change course as long as the next thing you do is equally or more difficult because that's a check against just giving up so you want to discipline yourself so you can get yourself organized so that you can go in a particular direction so that when you find the right direction, you can really go in that direction. And that does require an apprenticeship of sorts. And it, it might not matter in some sense exactly what the apprenticeship is, as long as it is rigorous. You want a goal that you can never attain. So you can always move closer to the goal that recedes as you move towards it. You think, well, that's frustrating. It's like Sisyphus pushing the rock uphill. But it's not because as you pursue that goal, you put yourself together and your life does get better and richer and more abundant. And that's why the highest levels of virtue and goal are in some sense transcendent. You want them to be above everything you're doing so you can continually move towards something that's more sublime and better. That's what you are. You're, you're here to live, not to, not to sleep. And the problem with the vision of Mai Tais on the beach is that, well, first of all, that's a vision of, of drug-induced unconsciousness. Second, it's only going to work for about a week. Third, you're going to be a laughingstock in a month and depressed and aimless and, and goalless. It's no, that's not, it's, it's, you want a horizon of ever-expanding possibility. And so it does happen to people as they, because they've staked their soul on the attainment of an instrumental goal. Our goal with this video was to share some of Jordan Peterson's most insightful advice and encourage you to use it to help achieve your own personal goals. Whether it's setting ambitious targets, embracing challenges, or focusing on what bothers you, Peterson's insights can help create a path that is fulfilling, purposeful, and unique to you. With perseverance, dedication, and a willingness to take on challenges, you can achieve more than you ever thought possible. Oh, that was a great word of encouragement from Jordan Peterson, and I like how he gets into great topics with good advice, guys. Guys, if today is your first time here, you say thank you, and please press that subscription button so that next time you will be able to get these great videos, guys. Thank you, and see you again next time. Bye-bye.